One of the big issues that we have with renewable energy is that it's an intermittent source. So what that means is, is sometimes the wind is blowing, sometimes the wind isn't blowing. Sometimes the sun is out, sometimes you know it's cloudy or it's night time. And so you need to be able to smooth out what sort of power you're getting out of your renewables. And one of the key ways that we're looking at doing that is with battery storage. Sodium batteries are very similar to lithium batteries. The principles of operation are exactly the same, except instead of using lithium ions to shuttle the charge back and forth, we're using sodium ions. Sodium battery is one of these new uh, generation battery resources. Uh, lithium is uh, limited. And the increasing amount of the electric vehicle and particular resident uh, storage is a huge demand on the lithium. So lithium cannot really hold this, uh, all this application, cannot meet all the demand. And sodium, on the other hand, is a very, very cheap and also abundant material. That's why sodium has a good potential to be an alternative energy source for uh, storage. So as part of this $10.5 million arena funded project, we're looking to develop these sodium ion batteries and then demonstrate them in a number of key uh, applications. So one of the applications that we're demonstrating is the uh, 5 kilowatt hour battery pack in the Illawarra Flame House and then also a 30 kilowatt hour battery pack at the Sydney Water Bondi Sewage Pumping Station. That's a really exciting project because it allows us to work closely with Sydney Water to help them develop their energy resiliency now and into the future. The Bondi Wastewater Treatment Plant treats approximately 150 to 200 megalitres of wastewater per day. Sydney the Water is a, a customer-centric organisation and we are trying to somehow reduce the water rate if possible. And we are also trying to minimise the use of energy. Sydney Water spends roughly between 35 to 40 million dollars per year on electricity. And if we manage to reduce that, it's just, that goes to the customer's uh, benefits and also we provide more reliable service to isolated communities which can become isolated in extreme weather events. By using a closed system of their own solar power generation, their own battery at that particular site, it allows them to make sure that no matter what's going on, rain, hail or shine, whether the grid is up or whether there's a blackout, that they can pump the sewage out of the tanks that they need to be able to do to provide service to their customers. The attractiveness of the project is that it comprises the university with the research component, it also has battery manufacturers, and then we also have Sydney Water, which will be one of the end users. Energy storage is going to be a massive issue as we move towards more renewables in Australia and around the world and it's fantastic to be able to be a part of cutting edge research that's really bringing this sort of technology into the commercial space.